Hey, yo, it is your boy, Boom Derek. First off, guys, I want to thank you guys for 80 subscribers. You guys may be like, hey, Derek, 80 subscribers isn't too much, bro. But to me, it is. You know, it, we're close to hitting 100. I'm, I'm very excited. And 80 to me is a lot. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the support and all your love. And I hope God is blessing you every single day. So before you guys leave, just hear me out, please. I just ask you guys to hear me out. As you can see, the video is called, you know, Anything Helps. And, you know, it's even, you never want to make a video like this. Let me just put it that way. One of my family members, my, my uncle, my uncle Devon, his sister was caught in a, I guess, fire accident or there was an explosion in the house. And her house caught on fire. Her house is completely destroyed now. Uh, but she was caught in it and she is in critical condition she's it's, it's just crazy you know I, I've seen some pictures I don't know if you guys saw it on the news but uh, it was I believe this weekend either Friday Saturday I'm not too sure but there was an explosion either in the gas line or, or something I mean it's, it's crazy because it can happen anytime uh, and to anyone it's not it's not because she was playing with with fire or anything but it's I mean it can happen to anyone and it can happen anywhere it's unexpected so she was caught in it and she has third degree burns from her face down 21% uh, of her upper body is burnt and she's in very critical condition like I said she's hurting uh, she's in a lot a lot of pain I mean just think about burning your hand and the next day I mean your hands burning it's it's hard to imagine and you know to see one of my uncles that you know I respect very much he's not blood related but he he is through marriage and he's been there in my life and you know he, he's a good husband to my tia just to see him hurt and to see him you know worried about his sister because you know his sister's not doing well and just to see this was unexpected and, and he didn't ask me to to ask you guys for help or anything like that down below in the description you'll see a gofundme page uh, he made one for his sister he, he just made it you know for his friends and his family to spread the news just because like i said it was unexpected the hospital bills the ambulance ride bill all that stuff was and is going to be a lot of money so he's just trying to to get support from anyone and any person that you know is willing to give with an open heart just trying to make it easier on his sister with her recovery and with any payments that you know she's going to have to make due to this unexpected accident but like I said he did not ask me to make this video he did not ask me to advertise or, or ask you guys and I wouldn't even ask you guys to do this if, if I wouldn't have thought that it is very important or it's you know relevant I don't know what I'm saying, but I made this because, you know, I felt it in my heart and I just put myself in, in his situation, you know, because an explosion like this can happen to anyone. You know, it, it can happen through a faulty gas line, stove or furnace. It, it can happen, you know, and, and it's scary to think. So first off, I ask you guys if, if you can just send your prayers to her and, and to her family and to my uncle's family just just send your praise and have God look over her have God heal her and just make that ride easier to the road of recovery and secondly you know if, if you guys can just share this video and share the GoFundMe link down below uh, to see what we can do we're not expecting anything big he's not expecting you know thousands of dollars from you guys I mean a couple bucks five bucks here and there helps you know if you can uh, spread this video and see what we can do. You guys can read in the GoFundMe. Uh, he left a, a, I guess like a story, a paragraph of everything that happened. He left a video, some of the pictures. The, the video is crazy to see. The house was just completely on fire. All that was left was actually the the cinder block walls around her house. I mean, the roof collapsed. They, everything's gone at this point. Let me just leave you guys with this. And I'm not trying to put this Bible verse to you know make you guys give because the power of prayer is powerful prayer is powerful so first of all just you know just pray for her pray for her family and for my uncle's family and and if you give with the willing heart I mean I thank you guys you know times 100 because like I said this can happen to anyone but I just want to leave you guys with this 
Luke chapter 3, verse 38. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure pressed down, shaken together, and run over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. In other words, you know, doesn't matter how much you give. If it's one couple bucks, you know, five bucks, ten bucks, it doesn't matter what you give. Just know that God is going to bless you for blessing those in need, for blessing those that, you know, come for you to help. And it will be poured down to measure, so you would get more than what you gave because you gave with the open heart and that's all that matters but I thank you guys I hope you guys can help like I said my uncle didn't put me up to this this was just coming from my heart and I know you guys as my family and as my friends I I know that you guys will help out and remember if you guys need any help any prayer or anything you guys can come to me you guys can leave my message i leave my snapchat and all my videos that i do now so you guys can contact me there and, and i'll be here for you guys i'll do whatever i can you know I'm, I'm not the the richest man far from that but i will do what i can i'll, I'll find ways to help you guys out mentally spiritually and financially but I thank you guys. I thank you guys for your support and all the love that you guys give me. This has been your boy Boom Dad. Stay blessed and God bless. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.